Welcome to the video. I appreciate you joining us. End times prophecy. There's a lot of buzz all over the internet, a lot of talk, has been for several years, that we're living in the end times. We're seeing the signs unfold all around us. It's reminiscent of the guy standing on the street corner with the sandwich board, written on the sandwich board, it says the end is near. Now, the bottom line is nobody knows when. Nobody has any idea exactly when this is gonna happen. But what we do know is that the signs of the times are clear, and the message of urgency from heaven is also very clear. Another example of that message of urgency from heaven is what took place in 1973 in Akita, Japan, when the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to a sister, Agnes Sasagawa. Now, Sister Agnes, at the time, was suffering from deafness in her ears. She was really in a lot of pain. It began on June 12th of 1973, when Sister Agnes was praying in the chapel before the Blessed Sacrament. Then, from the tabernacle, she saw these brilliant rays of light shining out. This happened again on the 13th and the 14th. On June 28th, a cross-shaped wound appeared on the left hand of Sister Agnes, the stigmata. This was painful and it bled. It was witnessed by Bishop Ito, the head of the diocese there. This went on through the end of July. Now, the first apparition of the Blessed Mother took place on July 6th. It began when Sister Agnes's guardian angel came to her, appeared to her, and told her that she needed to go to the chapel to pray. Now, in the chapel, it's a three-foot statue of the Blessed Mother under the title of Our Lady of All Nations, which is another Marian apparition that took place from 1945 to 1959. It is approved by the church, as is Akita, Japan, the one that I'm speaking of now. So when Sister Agnes enters the chapel, she sees the statue of Our Lady of All Nations, and she notices on the right hand of the statue is a cross-shaped wound, just like the one on the left hand of Sister Agnes. And she notices that this wound is bleeding. The statue seemed to come to life, and Sister Agnes heard a beautiful voice speak to her, the voice of the Blessed Mother. Now remember, Sister Agnes was struggling with deafness in one ear and it was increasing in the other, but she heard this voice clear as could be. There are many things that Mary said to Sister during this first supernatural encounter. One of them was, is the infirmity of your ears painful? Your deafness will be healed, be sure. Does the wound of your hand cause you to suffer? Pray in reparation for the sins of men. Regularly we see this from the Blessed Mother when she comes to the world in these visions. She's constantly reminding us of the need for us to make reparation for sins, our own sins and the sins of others. There are a lot of people out there who don't think that there needs to be reparation made for sins. Go back to 1917 in Fatima when the Blessed Mother appeared to the three children. Again, we cannot remember this enough. Because every day we all suffer, every day we have our struggles, every day we can offer these struggles as suffering up in reparation for sins. Because July 13th, 1917, the Blessed Mother made clear to the children after she showed them the vision of hell, this is the place where poor sinners go, who have nobody to pray for them and make sacrifices for them. Later on in this message of July 6th, the Blessed Mother went on to say, pray very much for the Pope, bishops, and priests. This is something that we regularly hear from the Blessed Mother when she comes to the world in visions like this. She is reminding us over and over to pray for the Pope, for priests, for bishops, for the clergy. Nearly a month later, on August 3rd, the Blessed Mother appeared a second time to Sister Agnes. She said, If you love the Lord, listen to what I have to say to you. In order that the world might know His anger, the Heavenly Father is preparing to inflict a great chastisement on all mankind. With my Son, I have intervened so many times to appease the wrath of the Father. I have prevented the coming of calamities by offering Him the sufferings of the Son on the cross, His precious blood, and beloved souls who console Him, forming a cohort of victim souls. Prayer, penance, and courageous sacrifices can soften the Father's anger. I desire this also from your community, that it love poverty, that it sanctify itself, and pray in reparation for the ingratitude and outrages of so many men. Again, we hear the same message, the need for us to pray, to offer reparation because of the ingratitude and the outrages of men. So we should get this, we should connect with this, why God would be sending this message to the world through the Blessed Mother, telling us of the need to make reparation because of the ingratitude and the outrages of men. Look at the way our world is living. Look at the choices we make. Look at the way we've turned our back on God in so many ways. Do we really need to be wondering or questioning at all why God would be preparing to inflict a great chastisement on all mankind? Look at the slaughter of the unborn. Look at the attack on marriage, so-called gay marriage. Look at everything we see unfolding around us when it comes to destroying the innocence of children. There's so many examples that could be given of how so many have turned their backs on God in so many ways. Now, I know there are many good things in this world and many good people, great people, trying to do good things, great things for God and for others out of love. But obviously, something isn't right. Otherwise, we would not be getting these messages from heaven and they wouldn't be so serious. The final apparition and message of the Blessed Mother to Sister Agnes took place on October 13th of 1973. 
This is an important day to remember. This goes back to Fatima in 1917, where the final apparition of the Blessed Mother to those three children was October 13th. Guapa, Nicaragua, 1980, the final apparition of the Blessed Mother to Bernardo Martinez took place also on October 13th. And this message from God through the Blessed Mother to Sister Agnes, ultimately for you and me, is frightening. As I told you, if men do not repent and better themselves, the Father will inflict a terrible punishment on all humanity. It will be a punishment greater than the deluge, such as one has never seen before. Fire will fall from the sky and will wipe out a great part of humanity, the good as well as the bad, sparing neither priests nor faithful. The survivors will find themselves so desolate that they will envy the dead. The only arms which will remain for you will be the rosary and the sign left by my son. Each day, recite the prayers of the rosary. With the rosary, pray for the Pope, the bishops, and priests. The work of the devil will infiltrate even into the church in such a way that one will see cardinals opposing cardinals, bishops against bishops. The priests who venerate me will be scorned and opposed by their colleagues, churches and altars sacked. The church will be full of those who accept compromises and the demon will press many priests and consecrated souls to leave the service of the Lord. The demon will be especially ruthless against souls consecrated to God. The thought of the loss of so many souls is the cause of my sadness. Pray very much the prayers of the rosary. These are sobering words, frightening words, and they should be. Consider where we are, morally speaking, in our world today compared to 1973 when these words were spoken by Our Lady. Consider 1973 the legalization of abortion in America, the legal murder of children beginning and now in the millions. In 1955, the divorce rate in America, about 10%. Now it exceeds 50%. Consider the increase, the enormous increase of suicide among even teenagers and younger in our world today. Do we still not see the seriousness of our times? Or more importantly, do we not see the seriousness of our involvement in these times? And I know, as I've said in previous videos, there are people out there who are gonna mock this, they're gonna laugh at this, they're gonna ridicule this, they're gonna think that you're crazy if you share this video with anybody. You're gonna run that risk. There are people that think I'm nuts for putting these videos out. I've seen this in the comments section of previous videos and on Facebook. I know this is gonna happen. That goes with the territory. That cannot stop you or I from sharing these messages. It should not stop me from producing these videos. It should not stop you from sharing these videos. There is far too much at stake. This urgent message from heaven is coming from God through the Blessed Mother to the world. And these messages are not just words spoken to Sister Agnes, for example. They are always accompanied with some miracle. For example, Sister Agnes was cured of her deafness, 100% cured of her deafness. The wound in her hand healed up eventually perfectly. The wound in the right hand of the wooden statue that was bleeding, the Blessed Mother in the chapel, also stopped bleeding. It healed up by the end of September. Right about that time, the statue began to perspire or sweat, leaving a sweet fragrance of perfume in the air. It also began to weep. Tears from the eyes of the statue began to flow. Now, Bishop Ito had the blood of the wound of the hand of the statue, the perspiration and the tears of the statue studied several times, each time it was found to be human. Over the next several years, the statue continued to weep, a total of 101 times. Now again, this was seen by hundreds of people, hundreds of witnesses. Let me ask you a question. What can you and I do to illustrate to people, to tell people, how important it is, how serious it is that we change our lives, come back to God, deepen our relationship with God. I mean, really, what can we do that heaven hasn't already done? The message of urgency that God is giving the world through these approved apparitions, such as our Blessed Mother appearing in Akita, Japan, is clear. The question is, what will you and I do with this information? What will we do with this knowledge? The warnings are there. We're seeing the unfolding of the signs of the times all around us. Will we spread this message to others? Share this video. We can reach the world in an instant through the internet. We just need to push those buttons to share the link, to get it out to other people. Give them the chance to know this, to pray about it, and the chance to respond to it. Don't wait. Don't wait till tomorrow. Do it today. Thanks for watching. That's all I got for now. There is more to come. Be relentless in spreading this word. God bless you.